joining out in On the first plenary session of the week in the well, Senate well, features a report of the Joint Committees on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions, finance, national planning and appropriation on the state of the economy. The report, which also emerged from an interaction with the president's economic management team, recommended the urgent need to bring down inflation. This issue of high cost of living is real. All of us here operate from the market, whether you go directly or you, you say your relative or your stewards. My problem, sir, is that the, poly, the agreements already reached between the federal government and labor with regards to the 35,000 naira increase in salaries, I was told as of yesterday it was only paid twice. What is happening to the uh, additional naira that is accruing, that is accruing to the Federation account? Even local governments, their grants, their allocations they are from, the federal, from the Federation account has increased. They should also go out there, procure grants and distribute. This I mean, the, what we have at hand is not the sole responsibility of the federal government to solve. The entire system must come together, must collaborate to make sure we do the needful. Before we conclude this debate today, the rate of Naira may have moved to 1,900. What does this suggest? We're in a state of emergency when it comes to management of our economy, something must be wrong. The debate gathered momentum following recommendations for further investigation into the 10 trillion Naira Anko Borua scheme, as well as the federal government's ways and means loans. The need for clarity became expedient. It is classified as obligation, 30 trillion. This debt overhang, Mr. President, is responsible for the problems we're having, which Nobody says he knows the detail how they spent that money outside 809 something billion with this parliament, this Senate approved. We have colossal amount of money given to the banks and this amount runs into trillions of naira. Some of the governors have benefited from that 18 billion naira are here. The civil senator uh, Dume. You were there when the, uh, the ways and means were approved. Check, I was not there, check the record. And as I said, number one, wait now, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot approve illegality. What they did was illegal, the Senate doesn't have the right. Let it be on record. I was not there. I was not there. Take the record. I was not there, but you were there. I, I had to, but I was not there. I was not there. No one wanted to be culpable, but everyone was interested in the unfolding narrative. However, the former president of the Senate clarified the figures before a resolution is taken. What the Ninth National Assembly approved or ratified in terms of ways and means, was not 29 or 30 trillion. It was 22, but there was 819 billion to attend to, to deal and address very serious infrastructural uh, dilapidations that we had across the country. So if we have a ways and means that is 30 today, that means something happened. Between then, and now, and it's for the National Assembly to find out what happened. Distinguished uh, colleagues, the motion has been moved and seconded that the ad hoc committee be set up to interrogate the, uh, the, the details of the ways and means, and the, the disbursements and usage, particularly the intervention programs such as the Ankur World Program, such as excess funding in the power sector. Uh, such as monies given to uh, manufacturers and banks to show to, and the airlines and etc to show up, which of course uh, uh, increase the current uh, uh, debt profile of the country. Now, investigating the legality or otherwise of the Ways and Means loans was just part of the recommendations. The Senate committee also canvassed for more security, technology and incentives to farmers to boost agriculture productivity. Gloria Umezuki, Channels Television News.